Hey, it's Tom from Inspiration Metal Works, and in this week's video, we're going to do a little plasma cutting. As is often the case for me, um, my bread and butter actually here in the shop is the plasma cutter. Um, yes, I have other CNC machines, I can do lots of different things, this is a job shop, but the plasma cutter does an awful lot for me. And what, it, uh, what I mean by that is, it's the kind of thing where like the tool's paid for, it's been paid for, I can set up a job, let it run while I'm doing other things, and it's like having an extra person around. Um, so for me, having the plasma cutter in the shop is a lifesaver. You know, it's just me in here, so you know, occasionally I've got help here and there, but tools like this, they, they make a, a big difference. Um, so today's set of jobs, we got uh, two different jobs that came in. Actually three, but I'm only going to record two of them. One is kind of neat. It's a one-off. Uh, we'll do that. Um, great customer. I do stuff for them all the time. Um, it's Oak City. Uh, you may have even seen some of their work on um, Love It or List It, the TV show Love It or List It. They are, uh, they're, they're featured on there from time to time uh, here in the Raleigh area. They, uh, the, one of the owners reached out to me today. He uh, is a former mechanical engineer as well, and so he sends me drawings. It's great because I can just plug it in and go. This is a carburetor adapter. I don't know what it's for. I just know that it needed to be thick. Um, he wanted something around 3 8 inch thick. I happen to have some 3 8 on the table already from the last job that I did, so it makes it drop dead simple. Once I'm done with that, I'm probably just going to move the 3 8 out of the way and line up uh, a sheet of 11 gauge, which is uh, 120, so 0 0.120. Uh, if you don't know, sheet, uh, steel sheet comes in gauge thicknesses until you get to plate. Right? Gauge thickness does not always uh, correlate to what we normally look, think of as fr uh, in fractional measurements. So I often hear people say that they want steel in 1 8 inch. And I have to explain to them that they can get 10 gauge or 11 gauge, which is you know, 10 gauge is 0.130 and 11 gauge is 0.120. So it's five, on, you know, five thousandths under, five thousandths over, but it's not the same. Always fun conversations. Um, anyways, I digress. We have 50 of the same part to cut on that. So I'm just going to put the sheet up here. Uh, it's already laid out and you know, make some changes on the, um, on the cutter to uh, tell it to go a little faster since we're going from 3 8 to uh, 11 gauge, 120, right? And again, click and let it run. So I have babbled long enough. Um, depending on how I edit this, it may actually have been the entire length of the video. So we'll see. But for now, it's time for me to load some stuff up and we'll get on it. All right. <clears throat> So that's it. I was able to click a button, let this thing cut. I walked away. Here's our parts. This is the carburetor adapter we were talking about. I guess there's going to be a riser that gets welded on this thing, um, to my understanding. And then 50 of these cover plates. You know, it took, I don't know, it might have been 10 minutes? I have to go back. You know what? I will look at the video and I'll, I'll annotate it in here on how long it actually took to make these parts. Now, keep in mind that doesn't take into account any drawing time. You know, Will did this drawing, I did these. Uh, it didn't take the time I had to go to get material. It doesn't take into account cost of running the air compressor and the electricity for the plasma cutter, the fan, having the space, having to pay for all this stuff. Right? All that goes into what I would bill, but when you think about the ability to get these jobs out quickly and do them on my own as a small one-man shop, right? having tools like these is indispensable. I hear a lot of folks talk about how guys who use CNC machines not being craftsmen or, you know, or uh, you know, not, not being um, as connected to their, their craft or their trade as, as other folks and it's absolutely not the case. You know, I had to have done this over and over again manually tons of times before I really knew how to dial this machine in and I could see how it worked. Same thing with the, the CNC uh, mill and the lathe. Right? I, I can use those well because I know how to use manual machines as well. Right? And I do have manual machines too. Sometimes I do it that way. So it doesn't mean you're not connected to your craft. It just means you can do a whole lot more of that work in a smaller amount of time. So it may not be the, the one-offs. You know, sometimes it is, right? 
but you know it doesn't mean you're not connected. So if you're interested in doing something with CNC, don't get discouraged. Get out there, try it. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I've been getting over this uh, sickness. It's still lingering a little bit. But with that, I'm going to call it a day. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I will talk to you again real soon.